So today we are going to start the essentially the second part of this class. It's we're going to be talking about a bunch of topics that are going to be applying to multiple methods. It's going to uh, some of the methods, for example, what I'm going to be talking about today, iterative methods. They apply to finite difference, finite volume, and finite elements. It doesn't. Uh, uh, immediately seems to apply to uh, the classical boundary element methods, but like uh, it's it's going to be uh, applicable to multiple things. And uh, the one of the goal of this I call the X series of lectures, the the second part of the lectures, is to help you with uh, uh, designing and working on your custom project. So the proposal of which is going to be due next Wednesday, right? So just before Thanksgiving. So I want you to be a to be able to kind of uh, not having to worry about oh what I, am I going to do for the custom project in Thanksgiving. So so the proposal of the customer project is due um, just before Thanksgiving. I think uh, it's uh, uh it's twenty second, the Wednesday right before the Wednesday. Uh, before Thanksgiving. So what is, what do I ask in the proposal? So of course you need to identify a problem, right? So basically identify a problem, basically telling me why you are, why uh, the problem is worth your time, all right? Why the problem is worth your time. So we, we are not asking like a, a, a problem that solves the world hunger or like solves all humanity's problem. Just a, something small uh, you can basically finish within these few weeks. If you already have a research direction, it will be great to take a small component of your research. And uh, I really emphasize small because if you aim for something too big, one of the very likely outcome is that you don't really get much, right? Uh, but like, if you focus on something small, there is a much good likelihood of you actually getting something out of your time. So, uh, so two is uh, uh, how you're going to solve this problem. So, basically, how you are going to solve it. And, uh, uh, for example. Okay, so, so also another possibility of the problem, if you don't have any research direction yet or don't, you don't know what to do, it would be great if you combine one of the projects we have done or one of the uh, homeworks you, you have uh, looked at with one of the advanced topics I'm going to be talking about later. So, so the advanced topics like iterative methods, error estimation, uncertainty quantification, optimization, adjoint, and uh, some of the things I'm not sure I'm going to be talking about, but like if there is a big request uh, I'll be talking about is a complex domain, unstructured mesh, parallel solution, and the potentially we are going to have a guest lecture on interactive PD modeling and simulation using Thompson. So, so it'll be very interesting if you combine some of the things we already did with uh, one or more of these advanced topics. All right, so, so like for larger problems, maybe you solved one problem in 2D or 1D, extended to 3D for some uh, uh, more non-trivial domain would be quite interesting. So the second element is how are you going to solve it? So if you don't have an equation yet, describe what is the PDE, right? What is the PDE you're going to be solving? What domain you're going to solve it on? And what method? Are you going to use boundary elements or finite difference? That's uh, important to decide early on. Or maybe you want to compare two methods, but don't say I want to apply for all four methods to this problem. That'll be too much work. All right. And uh, three is what exactly are you going to do? What will you show? Right. Uh, in in there is a midterm report. I mean, all of these reports are supposed to be short. I don't want you to be writing a full-length paper for every report, right? There is a, no point of doing that. It's more like uh, uh, you describe what you have done and describe your results. So what we will show in the midterm, uh, that's 
the, the dates are on the calendar. I don't remember what they are and uh, what we'll show in the final report. Okay. Uh, so, so these are basically what the custom, uh, custom project is about. The proposal is just a one-page thing. Don't uh, uh, make it uh, uh, too long. The midterm is going to be a one-page thing plus figures if you have uh, uh, figures to show. And the final reports are maybe just uh, uh, two pages. You don't have to be super long. Okay. So that, that's it. Any questions? And uh, according to the number of people who, who are uh, still in the class, I don't think... Uh, oh, another thing is that collaborative projects are allowed, right? You, you can do it by yourself or do it together with another person. But if you do that, you have to be very specific uh, what is the contribution of everybody. So, so for example, in the proposal, you need to say in the midterm, I'm going to deliver this, and my collaborator is going to deliver that, right? So, so basically, it'll be very clear who is going to be doing what. All right, that's a. Uh, uh, this is what I found to be the most uh, uh, important thing for collaborative projects is to make sure not like one person ended up doing everything. <laughs> All right, and uh, uh, based on the number of people, we'll be probably having the last two lectures being proposal be being project presentations so there is a monday and wednesday all right so every every project is going to have five minutes presentation plus like two minutes questions all right uh, any questions on the on the last project all right okay i, I i'm also going to hold an uh, office hour, not today, but late, later this week. Uh, for if you have some idea you want to discuss to see is this the right scope or do you think this is too much work or things like that. All right.